out of respect to our next guest, Chris Brockman, when you came up with the poll question of which quarterback is most likely to get the week, uh, a, a, which quarterback currently backup is most likely to get a start first? You chose Jordan Love as well, one I of the wanted, choices. I and I Jordan said, Love I said, out of respect, that yeah. we cannot do that. Respect to Aaron <laughs> Rodgers as well as our next guest, um, who is uh, a diehard Packers fan and also the host of a new podcast, releasing episodes every single Tuesday, an oral history of the Office podcast where all podcasts are available now, also exclusively on on, a, on Spotify. Uh, Brian Baumgartner here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. What is this? What is this shenanigans that he's throwing out before I'm even on? I don't even understand. Well, Brian, um, look, you're dealing with a guy who the number twelve he's been rooting for for the last twenty years was Tom Brady. So he likes throwing shade in the directions of other people who aren't nearly as fortunate to be water skiing behind six championship yachts like he has. So yeah. uh, I think he just wanted to throw Jordan Love out there um, uh, as getting a start. Uh, before any other backup will this year, and I, I found that appalling. So I, I blocked it. I used my preemptory as host, Brian. There you go. Excellent. How? Very, very well done. Good luck at the with the Buccaneers this year. By the way, great. <laughs> Good luck there. Well, the old Battle of the Bays should be interesting when that happens later on this year, Brian. I mean, uh, what do you think of your Packers coming into uh, 2020? Oh, I, you know what. Uh, they made the NFC championship game last year. That's true. I mean, that's, that's it. I, their schedule is tough, but uh, I think they're going to be um, stiffer up front. <laughs> that's what she said. That's um, not... And uh, <laughs> I think I, I, I have hope. I, I, of course, it's like, Oh, this is, this is great new. <laughs> this is great insight for me to start off the show. I wish they had gotten him a little more help, like everyone has been uh, discussing. Yes, uh, with guys uh, catching the ball, but um, you know, I, I I remain positive and steadfast in my resolve. Well, you know what, I I don't blame you for doing that because if uh, things kind of bounced a, a a little bit your way last year, the Packers could have been the one seed and. But yeah, that that's that selection of Jordan Love. You know, three years from now, you might be, or four years from now, you might be, you know, high fiving your the Packer fan to your left or your right. But right now, that that one was a total head scratcher to me, Brian, as it was to Aaron Rodgers. Uh, yes, a little confusing to say the least. Hmm. A little confusing. So, yeah. do you uh, have you ever played golf with Aaron? Uh, many times. Okay. Many, many times. Okay. Yeah, you know we're we're. We're we're buddies. Yeah, it sounds like I mean, this I, sounds like Fight Club. Are you not supposed to talk about your friendship with Aaron? Because I don't want to get no, you. Any, no, okay. no, no, okay, no, uh, no. We play a lot of golf uh, together. In fact, uh, we were uh, we were paired up twice this year at the old uh, American Century Championship right. in Lake Tahoe, mm-hmm. um, and that was that was a lot of fun. He I, he usually plays better when he plays with me. Unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, I'm happy. I'm happy for him about that in a in a in a way, and also disappointed in a way. Um, but uh, yeah, we had we had a we had a really great time. He was at the birth of my child, for the love of all that's Pete. So we're yeah, we we've, we've been friends for a long time. Well, uh, T.J. Jefferson, Rich Eisen Show social media grand master, has provided us a photograph that appears to be. Um, Aaron Rodgers uh, next to Ashton Kutcher, and in between Aaron Rodgers and you is one Michael Jeffrey Jordan. That looks like that, that photograph to right. me. Where, where was I, the, where was this taken? That was taken at uh, at at uh, Jordan's um, MJ's uh, charity event that he used to have uh, in the Bahamas. I, although I think that's when he had moved it to Las Vegas. Yes. I have that photo as well. That does look like a little Shadow Creek action to me shadow, back there. A little. Shadow Creek. Oh, yes, because Mr. Kuchar was there. Yes, that was Shadow Creek. That's right. <laughs> he was with, by the way, a belt buckle that might be as large as the actual uh, lake, that man-made lake that was behind. My that gosh. was April the 1st, 2012. There you Just... go. There you go. All right, very good. Let's, 
let's be clear, Mr. Kuchar was not playing golf. I'm not exactly sure what he was doing, but he, he was there for a while. He was caddying for yes, MJ. It, it does look – was he really caddying for Michael yeah. Jordan in jeans? Like I he's, think he did come out and caddy for a, a few holes, yes. I remember Dwight uh, Dwight Freeney yep. was our fourth yep. in that, that foursome that we that had. Yes. So where was Freeney – did Freeney take the picture? No, I took the picture. Okay. Um, I'm not sure where Freeney was at that point, but, yeah, that was the foursome. Oh, you took the picture? Yeah, he did. Oh. Yeah. He, well, oh. Well, Brian well, doesn't know me, so he doesn't know who he's <laughs> speaking to. But. <laughs> there you go. Remember, but, I, but I was there. <laughs> well, but Ashton was dressed like Burt Reynolds from, uh, from like, Hooper is what it looks like to me right there. So, very good. Nice day right it there. It was confusing. Brian was Baumgartner confusing. here on the Rich Eisen Show. Where'd you come up with the, uh, the idea for this pod, man? It's so popular, obviously. The Office is as popular as ever. Um, an oral history of The Office. Walk me through how you... Um, came up with this one sir well really it is because of what you just said that the office is more popular than ever uh you know for we were the number one scripted show on nbc for a lot of the time that the show was on um but we haven't filmed anything in seven years and based on any metric now it is the most watched show in television which is just insane um, and I'm including like shows that are being made right now. And I, I, so part of it was the idea of, of trying to figure out why, like why it has caught such fire and become sort of the cultural phenomenon that, that it is today. And, and really why do young people like it? Like why are like, you know, 14 year olds and 13, 12 year old, like, why are they watching it? Cause we never thought we were making a show for kids, right? We thought we were making a show that, people who were working in offices might relate to. Um, and so it was really, for me, the podcast is a, is a journey and an, an active exploration trying to figure out why in the world as this show um, not just survived this long, but is actually now thriving more than ever uh, after all of this time. Well, in terms of kids, that, that kind of nixes the reason why I would proffer to say it's so popular is, well, obviously, other than the writing and the acting and and. and and obviously, the mock documentary um, that 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 it uh, it sends up quite a bit with the way that it's shot. Uh, I, we've all had bosses that are just right. not not competent and goes to work thinking that it's entertainment. That that all yes. all a good boss has to be is just entertaining, and that we've all had that, and we've all had right. kooky. Uh, um, co-workers and we've all had people who are know-it-alls at work and we've also you know seen office romances i mean it it just speaks to so many different levels yeah you so know? rich it's when we when we look at it our friend ben silverman who executive produced the show yes when 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 when, when he gets asked why is it popular he's like well because it's funny right, right? yes Which on a certain level it's it's i think he's right but I think what I have found through doing, talking to so many people and doing this podcast is exactly what you are talking about is what we thought, like when we were on set. And I don't remember the number, right? But it was like, well, there are 200 million Americans who work in offices across the country. So if we can just find a small percentage of those people that can relate, well, then we're great, right? Like we're, this is a home run. So I think what I, we never realized, even we never realized when we were making it, was the parallel between being stuck in an office with people you don't choose to be with, right. with an unreasonable boss. The <laughs> parallel between that to being stuck in a classroom with an unreasonable teacher yep. that maybe makes you do things you don't want to do and you have to sit next to people who you don't choose to sit next to. And there's the cool kids with the romance. And, and, and it relates, I think, to them in a way that we never imagined when we were making it. Brian Baumgartner here on the Rich Eisen Show. Who are you channeling as, as Kevin? Brian? Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. No, I seriously, you didn't have like a coworker that, uh, any, you know, was there anybody that you based your portrayal no, on at all or no? No. No, and I think I think one of the things that made the show so unique and different was that the people who were that the actors who were involved all came from different places, right? right? So like 
you had B.J. Novak and Craig Robinson, who were like stand-up guys, and Steve Carell and Angela Kenzie, who were like improv people. For me, I, it, myself and Rain Wilson, we were like, we came straight from theater. So for me, it was really about constructing and building a character, and I, where it came from, I don't know, just like the dark recesses of my brain, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> The dark recesses of your brain. I love that. I'll, yeah. ac- I'll accept that as an answer. I just was right. wondering if there was anybody out there. And you know Ed Helms for a very, very long time, correct, Brian? Went to high school together. It's amazing. Yes. That is amazing. He, I've aged like a fine wine that maybe has too much tannin. Uh, <laughs> Ed, we... Ed and I don't look the same, but yes, I am. I am. I was well. I don't know how many years, but I, I was one class ahead of him, and we were we were close friends. Our parents are friends, and yeah, we've known each other a long time. That is the smallest of worlds. I think we have um, something that just got Instagrammed down, maybe even by you, is Kevin's chili recipe. Um, oh boy! I think we have that right here um, on our program. So um, yeah, there it is. Kevin's famous chili. Whatever you do, don't drop it. <laughs> I like there that. There you go. <laughs> oh, Peacock Instagram this out on their stories, and you know we're on Peacock, so we're, and this is where uh, the office is headed uh, eventually. So, um, did yeah. you have anything to do with this at all yourself, or this was just something that was placed in front of you, Brian? The the, the, the chili recipe, the yes, chili sir. thing. Yes, sir. No, that was just you know. There's been a lot of discussion about it. It was it, it was so different. I mean, it was really unlike anything else that we did on the show. Um, <laughs> And, you know, this sort of monologue that I had with the chili. And there was, I guess, a big discussion in the writer's room. Like, no, we can't do this. This is too much. This is too much of a departure. And I I, I knew it was – I loved it to start with. Did I think that it was going to appear as a meme every day for the rest of my life <laughs> on social media? No, I definitely did not did not envision that scenario. Um, but I uh, – yeah, the, the, I'm tremendously proud that it was one take. That is, that is, I guess in a way, my claim to fame. It will probably be on my tombstone, no. one take Baumgartner. One take. That might mean something else. It might not. But I think right. that's really what, um, yeah, what, what, what I will be remembered. I mean, I think I, sure. I think I saw it even over the weekend. The, the meme. Did you taste it before you dropped it, or no? That was just a, a stand-in chili. I did not taste it, but I will, I will tell you a quick story that we angela kinsey and oscar nunez and myself the three accountants we periodically would go to a nice dinner after work okay. so i think we shot this on a friday night and we had planned to go very nice you can guess i'm not going to give them a plug but very nice steakhouse in beverly hills mm-hmm. that we had a reservation at this particular evening and of course they got off early because i i was the only one who shot that and i i did the scene and they, they had come to me before, and they said, we have three giant pieces of carpet. So you can do this three times, but that's it, man. you got to get it. We did it once, and as I joked later, like, they could have changed the carpet, but they couldn't change me. Like, I was so just stained, kind of that yellow or orangey-yellow chili. So I get in the shower, and I'm like, shower. It's the most people I've ever showered with, too, Rich. I was not a professional football player. There's, like wardrobe people and makeup people and ha- getting it out of my hair and like all this stuff. So I leave set uh, happy with myself and I sit down at this very fancy uh, restaurant in Beverly Hills and I can just, all I can smell is chili. There's like, Oscar's like, I got us a seafood tower. I'm like, I can't, all I smell is chili. This is the most wasted meal of my entire life. Um, so it, stu- it stuck around much longer than the film. It lingers. Well, sure. it's, it, it just like the meme, Brian. You just can't get it. You just can't get it out. You know. I mean, it's <laughs> it's the, it's there. Right. It's going to follow you for a very long time. So um, I'll, I'll ask the question. I'm sure you get a lot, but I'll do it anyway. Um, getting everyone back together, getting the band back together, getting doing another episode, like literally having a reunion show is there how realistic is a chance percentage that that's what we do in the in sports media is ask a percentage ask like what percent are you in terms of readiness or injured or not coaches we ask what percentage is it possible to get this person back in the lineup give me a percentage brian um i because of the way that you ask the question yes sir i would say 
it probably exceeds 80 percent oh wow i don't I, I could do the math so there's a there's a better than four out of every five chances of of asking that you that, that this happens yes but i think i think what i think where a, the, the question a lot of people ask is about like rebooting the show like having that exist again for like another season or something that number is way lower okay but but the idea of getting everybody back to do some sort of reunion event yeah that's what i would say okay I think there's a, yes 80 that's but better than 80 percent because it seems like you all genuinely like each other when when obviously you're talking on your podcasts um, yeah. I, I have gotten to know Angela cause our kids go to the same school and she talks just glowingly about everybody. Like everybody seems to genuinely like everybody. So that might not be yeah. an issue. And the popularity is huge. Um, so I'll ask this then what's hap- what's more likely to happen first, the reunion show or Jordan love starts a game for the green Bay Packers at quarterback. <laughs> Great question. Rich. Oh, <laughs> Um, uh, I can't answer that question. (laughs) But Aaron Rodgers is healthy. Your golf buddy is healthy. He is, he is healthy. So you could kind of give an idea of years left on contracts. You know what I'm saying? What do you think? Right. Are you saying, oh, wait, oh, well, are you saying. What happens first? Starts a single game or replaces as. QB one the Packers. Uh, just, uh, I, you know what? Because he could get a cup of coffee if the Packers clinch early enough. This is Brian Baumgartner right. trying to avoid answering the question with a very salient football point. I'm trying to f- figure out way I should go. No, an actual like they're they're saying let's give him a shot. Let's give him a look. What happens I... first? The reunion show or that? Brian Baumgartner. Well, see, I, now I'm going to hedge again. Because what if, what if, because what, what if, what if, what if the Packers, you know, after this year, send him to New England? Mm, which is what you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. So. So, do I think it's going to be? Do I think? Oh, uh, I can answer this. Okay. Do I think it's going to happen? Do I think that the office gang will be back together before the end of this football season? No. No, I don't think so. Okay. I don't I, – no. All right. Um... I haven't been fitted for wardrobe. Yet, <laughs> yeah. is, when I gave you that percentage, this is what I think, based on no specific okay. knowledge that I will reveal. All right, Brian. In the meantime, we'll just have to soak in uh, your awesome podcast and oral history of the office podcast available now exclusively – on Spotify. Uh, so you got a new episode coming out this very Tuesday, correct? It's every Tuesday? Yes. And, it, uh, yes. and your guest Tomorrow is? We, your guest we, is. Start, we, we start looking toward the end. Well, last week uh, we we covered the period of time when Steve Carell left. Mm-hmm. And uh, and and now the show is, is rapidly coming to an end. So we'll, um, we'll hear from a lot of different people about um, kind of the decision that was made for why we decided to. Um, that it was time for the show to be over. Okay. Brian, thanks for the call. Let's chat more and go hit him straight when you can get out there, obviously. Let's do it. Absolutely. Thanks, thanks for the call. Rich. I appreciate it. Right back at you. Of course, the very popular Brian Baumgartner, his um, podcast and oral history of the office podcast available on Spotify at BB Baumgartner on Twitter. He's also on Instagram as well. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.